Hello to the good honeybee yard, beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad. I'm Hans T. Yemen, and this is another good bees video coming to you. Everything here by helter skelter, scattered all about. There's nothing on me, I'm here, but um, let me try and explain something to you. You see, the sepi is to get these legs. See them like this, with all that oil, to get it to work more efficiently for me. So what the what I plan to do is, plan to move the two colonies. See, I moved one already. I'm going to take this one and put it down here in that box. And I'm going to take off this hand, this stand, and these yellow half a containers you're seeing here. I'm going to place them under each of the legs and I have some inner tubing see these inner tubing I'm going to be putting it inside the tire here in the water I'm going to use water this time around right and replace all these all these um all these legs here, put, put them on, on the, all the legs here and redo this whole thing because you see the ants are still able to, to cross they're not doing it in the front but they're doing it in the back you know where the dirt when it rain and the dirt fly up and cause uh, to absorb the, the oil and that is what causing the might cause the ants I see a little ants there. You see the ants there? And that causing the ants to cross. I don't want no ants in my bees, man. Right? So, I have to take some more action now. The, today is um, Wednesday, the 14th of December, 2022. 10 a.m. And I was a run out of here just now because... It um have some dark clouds come across way and those dark clouds bring some wind and coolness. So uh, the reason I had us a move is because I have no cover in here and I didn't want in my equipment and everything to get wet. So I have everything scattered in a hurricane disaster kind of fashion. Anyhow. So gradually, I'm moving across the boxes, and then I'll take care of these things. I'll put your sit down over there, so, and you'll be able to view me from on that side. If you see anybody coming, let me know. Because eh? some, sometimes people just, just walk up on your head, yes, so. I don't want nobody to guess things. Huh? Right, so. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, if the weather improved, you see what they're building up, watch. Yeah, they're building up nice. This one too, improve a bit. I, I don't want to take off this bottom board and change that box just yet. I'll put a divider in, inside it. I'll take, up, take out frame number 1 and 10. And I'll do a little sepi with some some liquid inside there and let me see how how they will adjust to that this one here i'm going to be taking off possibly the three supers replacing it with uh, another super that will have some some food stores in it we'll see when we get inside there we'll see what's going on i'm not sure exactly what's going on but this is the time these colonies need to start gearing up. The little stimulation I was doing before, it's like it taking effect now, um, causing the bees to want to start to go out and forage more because we have some pollen coming in very well and of course some nectar. So the queen should be doing her laying. I find this box looking little. Tipsy turby, you know. I need to put a, another something on. I need to 
make it a little more level I don't want to have no 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 box falling down on me here at all today right so that is the scenario that I'm working with today and let's hope let's hope it it work out as I predicted all right that looking more lovely well, you see I don't know how heavy that box is all right okay folks so what I will do is I will, you will be in and out eh? I wouldn't be I wouldn't be um, recording the whole thing because you'll get bored I'll just give you the highlights and that's why I give you this little heads up now right so let me get I will have to put on my suit now see I'm a suit lying down over there I'll take out my suit put it on get the smoker lighting better and see if I could do some work it, um, have plenty cloud cover still but I will have to do work if I don't do this work now I would lose a whole week because we're supposed to be getting some better weather from Friday I can't wait until Friday if we have a little thing now I have to take the chance and do it now you know what I mean all right so I will um, have to switch off now and come back later in between I'll put in some goodies for you all right so don't skip past it you know don't go right to the end because you'll miss out laters hold on there. okay so I took off two of the the supers and this is what the bees are doing here right now they're occupying frame number hmm. wow they, they're getting sensitive there on me man be what is it I want to sting today, you know. Okay, so they're in frame, counting from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're in frame, six, seven, eight, and nine. Alright? So let me see what it is, what it is they're doing down in, in those frames there. You see, underneath this super, have a... Uh, in a cover so I think they're probably trying to put some kind of nectar or something inside there you know? let me see the weather still cool by so that is why the little you notice how they're looking like they're watching you yeah so although I know they're watching me I know they, they know I'm here but I still have to treat them with that respect eh? After all, I have nothing in this one. That's frame number 10. I see nine over in on here. Come on, all you. I see all you want to jump out at me. You know, watch all this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's what's going on. The queen passed through. She passed through and, and do a number here, boy. She had brood up on top here. Wow. Okay. Well, do it have that in a cover inside there. She came up here. Oh, look at that emerging brood there, you know. Watch. See bees coming out there emerging. Watch. Check them out. Yeah, man. Emerging brood. Look at that. Right. I seen pollen one or two little thing nothing much and um oh yeah on this side so she did well okay oops sorry let me open up this other one here now okay what we have here all right all's good and well quite a few emerging emerging brood you see that is why i just tell you 
Don't sit down for too long, you know. You will miss out. Last time I was here, I tell her to bring some something to drink, something cool, not cool. I hope you remember, eh? Because uh, we have some is it, drones. Drone cells there, boy. Drone brood. Okay, so that is all that I have here. Let me take out this, this super here now. I'm going to separate it from the, the bottom. Without disturbing the bees too much. Hopefully. That's it over here. Right. Now we could deal with this one here. What I want to do, I want to just take it and put it on top of that box over there. You know. So, to keep these bees happy, I should put back these frames here. So that the brood wouldn't be that, wouldn't get so cold. Right? So far, so good. Right. Keep the wind cool on my back. Just cover it up like that. Keep the keep the wind out of it. All right. Get them out of the smoke again. Thanks for your cooperation. But we need to we need to make another move. Yeah, man, that is what I'm talking about. So now we can, now we can do the, do the job that we really come here to do. Right? Let me put up this thing there, you know. You see, they, they're so otherwise occupied that they're taking me on too much right away. Should I bring up here gloves, boy? My hand getting oily. So, I just wanted to show you that um, what I'm doing there. 
So there it is. I put the the inner tubing and then I put the tiles and I have the water so I just need to to do the other six. So again I'll come back to you. Okay we are back. That part of the job has been finished successfully. Let's take a look. Yeah man. No way our hands could make a bridge to go across there. All right. And everything looking level, flat and nice. Yeah man. I see a little problem here. This one here have a little. I didn't notice this man. It have a and here it will still be able to keep water. You see how it's looking? I didn't notice this before. I'll need to replace this. I don't I don't have a I don't have a better one right now. So I'll have to do that another time. These these other ones here, they're just as bad. So that being said, I will need to now fill it up with water. Alright. I also, I also bring in some water here with me and also tote some water because coming down this, this hill here is a little bit of a problem. So I'll put some water here and that's going to keep the ants at bay. The ants think that they have um they have a what they call it boy. They have the right to come in here and oh my gosh look another hole there see that like two two containers are to change or oh, to find a way to, to stop that up maybe i could bring some kind of something make the one man something and put water in so the water wouldn't be able to escape One more place to put water in, and then we're good to go. And they have enough water already. But seeing that I have it already, use it up, right? Okay. So now let me put back, put back the colonies on top of the stand there. Ah. These, these two colonies are so weak that they even have me to take on. But soon enough, they will build back. So how you like it so far? Make sure and um, let me know about it in the comment section below. And of course, you know we're looking for that. A like and a share that is um it, it, these videos are shareable eh? so don't forget that a thumbs up and for those who are looking at it for the first time subscribe and ring the bell icon yeah man so that more good bees videos like this will come to you straight in your mailbox don't frighten you wouldn't get no sting.
don't, I don't know which one I'm going down. Oh. Always keep this in your hand. We'll do this one first. But um, I need you to come a little closer. What any things are? I didn't do yet because um, it's still not time. You see this, this little shim I have here, right? That is keeping the the front lower than the back. So if you have, if you have any water that come into the colony, it will run out to the front. So we still in the rainy season time, so we can't take it out just yet. So. Stay with me a little closer up here and let's open up this colony here and see what what they're doing down inside don't worry yourself it's only it's only a color a yellow color that's not just when i move it you see the bees Right. We're going we're going down inside there now. All right, so here what going on. This colony here just need a little more stimulation. So, doing it as quick as possible. Wow, this thing hard way. Hmm. I, gotta, I wanted us to take out to take out frame number one but frame number one so hard the pro propolis down inside there so I'd rather take out frame number two instead some nectar in here and it have a little bit of brood so wow wow we can we to my surprise I'll just show you that check this out seeing that and it's on both sides and the next frame is the same thing so Look at that. You want to sting me? Now you behave, behave. See this very much. something so this is what I will do I'll put back this frame here number two in that position and I will stimulate these bees a little more I didn't bring any of I didn't bring any um, additional frames
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them some of this. I wonder if you see me, good boy. All right, yes, I'm going to give them some of this. You know what is this? This is liquid. You ever feel liquid like this? Oh gosh. Let me show you how I feed in this liquid. I'm going to fill up. You have nectar in there, you know. But that is nothing. This is another way you could feed. Alright, try not to spill it too much because you could get rubbing at this time too. Eh? So I'm going to I'm going to do it like this. To fill it up, you know, make the um the process a little quick. And with this doing it like this. The bees will be more encouraged to get out there and start to bring in more nectar and start to do some more work. So the next time I'm coming back here, it seems like I will have to bring some better frames or foundation, one of the two. Right. So this is supposed to be the honey frame anyhow. So that will make them feel that that is the honey frame. Right. Need a little more smoke. They're getting a little more agitated today. Of course, you know, this one hunting sometimes doesn't work out too well, you know. But we go the way. I have to try and make the video for you to see. You know, you could also learn from my mistakes too. Right, so this is frame number 10. It looks like I had a written 9 and 10. Yeah, man. They could handle that. And the weather good, so... No big thing. There have enough bees in here to, so the hive could defend themselves against any um, any robin. I wanted to put a division board, but I don't need to do that. Make them make them feel that it have so much nectar outside they will run out there and start to get active. Right. That's 750 ml of liquid. I have another 750 for the other colony in case I will need to do a similar thing. Which I doubt. But you never to know, eh? Right, so cover them back up, right, before, before anything were to happen to them, and um, where is that box by, or oh, the box right here, you know, right, put the solid there, it's only the liquid that will make them a little confused and thing. Sit down there for a minute. All right. That's the plan to steal the golden hand.
So what we have there now is let us go up. Let us open up this other colony here and see what is happening. You good day? Okay, I'll bring you closer now that. Oh, boy, what's going on there? You climb out of that hole like a speed boy. Come on, all you. Relax, relax, relax. It's only me. What do you think it is? Who do you think it is? All right, see how we're going on. I have, a, I have a super up, up on the top of the hill up there. Quite, quite up so I have a super. So I'm going to get it and come back. Right? So, as per usual, I'll put you on pause a little bit. Okay, so I'm back. What I think, what I think I will do is, I will just put the super right on top of the brood nest. I'm giving them back the sugar. And I'm going to be putting the, the liquid in these containers. And you know the, the strange thing about this is it it drizzling, you know. This this weather pattern, boy. <laughs> it's not nice at all. Giving trouble from day one. Sorry about that. I should have bring you higher. So I'm just putting on the the top box there and the cover and everything there. You know? So that is in place. I will probably still have to come and do some, um, put on some clay on this one here. See how they 
they settled down pretty good although they're still checking me now and again but not as not as bad do i need to put anything here nope How about you all right entrance reducer no all right nice man come come all this stop that stop that this is a friendly this is a friendly meet you know it's right, just this one here I could put on a little something just in case now because you know this one I uh, uh, spill a lot of honey um, liquid 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 honey inside it Right. Yeah, man. Good. You see, as they they build up in numbers and thing now, I don't have to worry about that too much. I could leave all them holes open because they were probably needed for cooling. You see, watch how they how it raining. Watch. Raindrops coming down, so that is why the bees they don't like they don't like it. So you have to be fast when you're doing this kind of operation. All right, so let's review this one here. Put um, some liquid in the combs and I put back the solid feed on top. This one here, remove the inner cover separating the brood from the super and I put on a super this super here have some resources in it have some seal honey and thing and then I put the inner cover here then I put another super that have frames and this is a super that um was on there on, on them there before so I just put it higher up and then on the top super here now I put liquid together with solid so everybody in a gear right there nobody here missing out for nothing right it have water in all the trough what I expect you see I was trying to prevent having to use this water method because what sometimes usually would happen is this this is what will be going on See that bee there struggling to, to come out. So sometimes you lose bees that way. But because the ants is so um, uh, the ants is so determined to come in here, they, they give me no other choice. But to uh, use this method, see him there trying to figure out how to cross him. You know? Right, so I will lose some bees that way, but they would they would learn not to go down in there too much. Let's hope for the best. All right, folks. So the only thing I have to do now is to clean up all my mess around here and head tail out back up to home all right so it's a nice little exercise that you you come and join me doing today and i'm hope i'm hoping that you could use it in your apri as well don't be lucky and covered you know that is a sepi a teacher day so all those supers that i had here was kept without any wax mode at all and without having to take them off and put them in a freezer or put water in them or put them on an ant's nest or any such thing the bees can and, and do take care of it if you use this method and of course you know what the method is you have to use the inner covers to separate the supers from the brood nest 
put the food on the top super cover it up properly and the bees will go up there to access the food and then going through the frame they'll keep it clean you could have between one and five to seven supers on top of a colony and you would notice that although i had a the third colony here that dead out the supers was still intact so they kept it down to the last in good order try it out in your apron and if you don't like it throw it out and this is what i have been using for years and it has worked for me very nicely boy this this weather boy this weather okay folks so i'm hans tm man and this uh, has been another good bees video and i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye for now